During the transition between glacial periods and interglacial periods, the glaciers melt and there are temporary proglacial lakes created as this meltwater then drains ultimately into the ocean. One enormous example during the last ice age was the great Lake Agassiz, which was perhaps the size of the Black Sea and covered portions of Minnesota and North Dakota and a number of areas in Canada, including areas of Ontario, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan. This lake would have varied in size and its extent as the glaciers melted, and there were a number of exits from the lake, uh, a southern route to the Caribbean, a northern route to the Arctic Ocean, and a number of eastern routes, sometimes passing through the Great Lakes, but then at other times not, as the glaciers receded further. As this meltwater reached the oceans, it appears that there were several events which were sudden and more cataclysmic, perhaps as ice dams broke and a new channel allowed meltwater to reach the sea. The geologic record suggests that release of meltwater at specific points may have been so dramatic that it affected the climate in distant areas such as Europe and even the Florida Keys. So, for example, when a sudden release of meltwater from Lake Agassiz uh, traveled eastward into the Atlantic, it seemed to have disrupted ocean currents and European climate to the point where a cooling event is measurable in the geologic record. There would have been a number of glacial lakes throughout the world after each of the glacial periods.